Hello and welcome to Bangle Mania right here. Uh, and uh, well, like I said, I want to say thank you for tuning in for this show. Uh, sorry, this show is actually getting on here late and uh, everything like that. I told y'all that I was going to try to film last Friday right after the game. The problem was that is I got called into work doing to the uh, hurricane that was coming through here. So I got called into work. And so uh, anyway, here I am. It's a little late. Um, it's Wednesday. Again, I'm taking movie review rev uh, spot over. And uh, for the people who's been trying to tune in here that ain't seen no movie review lately, don't worry. Uh, it'll be two coming soon. Uh, we're a little behind here, and uh, we're just trying to get all this to going. Um, and of course, we got another new show next week starting, uh, Bone Fest. You know, uh, uh, the new season of Bone starts this Thursday night. Also, the Bengals has got a game this Thursday night as well against the Colts. Good thing I got DBR with Dish Network, so I don't miss anything. I don't miss none of the action in my game, and I don't miss none of the action in my TV shows. But anyway, that's not what we're talking about here today. We're talking about the Cincinnati Bengals doing a whooping on the Carolina Panthers. Now, I told Jason Inc., I told my fiance, and I told all the other Carolina Panthers fans that we was going to, we probably might not win no more games the rest of the year. But one game I knew we couldn't lose was against the Carolina Panthers and their number one draft pick quarterback, which I'm telling you, he did not look good this past Thursday night. And uh, really, uh, yeah, they scored the first touchdown, but that's all they did the rest of the game because the rest of the game, my Bengals took a hold of it and kept it the rest of the game. And I appreciate that. They've done a heck of a job. I believe the score was 24 to 13. So that's not bad, you know. Uh, but like I said, Panthers got a couple field goals there, a touchdown and a couple field goals. Um, but anyway. Uh, of course, we, this weekend we are going against the Colts tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. But anyway, uh, so I don't know how the Colts are looking this year. Like I said, I'm kind of behind on what to, looking at all the teams because uh, I work here lately. I've been working all all the weekends since football started. I, I, my job is weekends, uh, so I get to watch the games, but it gets to be Monday or Tuesday before I actually get to sit down and watch them. Besides, here the last couple of weeks, I've actually been able to watch the Bengals game, which I didn't get to watch the Bengals game this past Thursday night until I got off work. But I did sit down and watched it, and it was a heck of a game. Uh, I liked what I saw. My team done just like I said last week. If my team can uh, pull together and work together, and they could be an unstoppable force, and Dalton uh, and uh, um, A.J. Green, uh, and a bunch of the other players all worked together and done a heck of a job. Uh, like I said, it was a great game. Um, uh, got to cheer for my teams a lot during that game, and uh, of course, my fiance the whole time was uh, kind of getting upset because what I, you know, the, my Bengals were whooping their Panthers. But, but anywho, uh, and then of course, uh, Steve Smith. Uh, let me talk a little about him. Uh, he got tackled in there in the game by one of my players, and. Um, I don't know if he's just a sore loser or or just don't like being tackled, but he got tackled, and then all of a sudden they was coming, getting up, and he decided to push my player. Oh, that ain't no count, man. Steve Smith, you know, I, I like the Carolina Panthers. You know, my second favorite team, but it wasn't no call and pushing and all that. But that's okay. You know, that's how you roll. That's how you play your game. That's okay. We still kicked y'all's butt. But anyway, um... Has been some breaking news coming out of the Bengals. That's one of her players is going to be seeing the next month, two months in jail for some some reason. Um, don't know what all that's about right yet. Um, I ain't had time to go on none of the websites and check out the news or whatever. But I will be getting more information on that, and we'll address that next week, next Monday, right here on Bengal Mania. Uh, so like I said, um. I do want to let you all know that I've been working on this week. I've been working on a Bengal Mania website. It's not a .com yet, but the address is on the bottom of the screen, and it'll be on the bottom of the detail description thing down there, so you can check it out. It's going to be uh, pretty much, uh, you know, my opinion on the Bengals. It's going to be uh, you can watch my show there. 
Um, I'm working on the Bengals game history. I'm trying to put all the games that Bengals ever played against, win or lose, on there. I'm working on that now. So if you see Bengals game history, if you go on there, you'll see this 60s, the 70s, the 80s, the 90s, the 2000, and 2010. And I've got the 60s up. I'm working on the 70s, and I got the 2010 season up. Of course, everybody probably knows what the, how that went out. But like I said, I'm still working on that. Plus, you'll probably see I got the player of the week. And as you can go on there and you click on there, you'll see who's my players of the week this week. And I got two players of the week this week. But actually, if I could put the whole team on there, I would. They did a heck of a job. But uh, my uh, players of the week this week, of course, is number 14, uh, Dalton. I think Dalton, Andy Dalton, I think he done a great job pulling, getting his team together and everything like that. Uh, and plus, um, he's also right beside him is number 18, A.J. Green. Uh, so uh, I'll tell you right now, I think he done a great job. Uh, he's not the only player that did a great job. Uh, of course, number 40 from last player to last week did a great job as well. But um, like I said, they're down to one each week, but... Uh, they all did a heck of a job, so I'm giving all both all of the team two thumbs up. Uh, just keep up the good work, and I believe y'all can take the Colts and beat them. I think y'all can run with it. Um, I sat down with Jason Inc. and talked to him about it, and uh, he told me that their the Colts' main quarterback is injured right now. So uh, who knows? We might have a fire chance of beating them. Um, but uh, like I said, uh, but who knows? Uh, tomorrow will tell that story. Um, and all that good stuff. But, um, uh, the cheerleader of the week, man, I tell you, I watched the game and they, some during the commercials or a little bit before the commercials, they would show the cheerleaders and boy, it was looking good. But anyway, uh, like I said last week, we was hoping that this week we'll be able to start, uh, cheerleader of the week, Bengals cheerleader of the week, and, uh, we do have, uh, our pick. And we'll be showing her at the end of the show. And uh, a little bit of detail about her as well. Um, this lady is also on my Facebook. And um, I seen it earlier this morning where she posted out that you can get an autographed 2011 calendar for $25. That ain't bad. Free shipping. Uh, and I will be giving you that information as well on the end of this video and down in the details below. Uh, Twenty-five dollars for the autograph uh, calendar of all the cheerleaders is what it said on the her uh, bulletin this morning. So I think that's a heck of a deal. I've been looking to try to find how to get a Bengals cheerleaders autograph poster and uh, the players, the roster t thing. I've been wanting one of them for years. I you know, and I still ain't got one yet. So I'm hoping uh, yeah, I'll be able to get one this year uh, since I'm starting this new program here. Um, but the lady that uh, I'm talking about, she is our Bengal Chiller of the Week, and we'll be giving her name and all that at the end of the show and all the details on how you can get the account autograph calendar from her and all that good stuff. So, like I said, uh, if any Bengals players and uh, chillers do watch this show, and I hope you do, uh, please comment. Um, the show will get better. I will get better. I'm kind of new with this. I'm a little nervous about each week. But I'll, I'll dust this nervousness off and get the show even better. Details will get better. Um, and all that information will get better. News will get better. Uh, as soon as I get a little bit more time to actually focus on it. But I'm working hard on the website and working hard on getting other stuff. And then I got other projects on the side that I'm working on as well. So, like I was saying, if you're a, a Bengal player, a Bengal chiller, or coach, or whatever, and you can help me out by getting me information on how I can get an autograph, uh, roster poster of the players and cheerleaders i would really appreciate it so please uh you know and this week uh, i will tell you we do have a brand new email address for this show it's banglemania at yahoo.com and of course the new website's down there and by the end of october i'm hoping i'll have this being a dot com uh if all all works out um again uh i want to say thank you for tuning in this show um the views have been kind of low on the last show, but that's okay. It's a new show, and uh, uh, I'm I'm dedicated to this show for the rest of the season. Uh, the uh, season actually starts next week, so the real season, that's when the games really count. And I hope my Bengals can pull off a victory every week and go to the playoffs and who knows, even go to the Super Bowl in it. 
uh, doubt that will happen. But uh, like I said, I'm a I'm a Bengal fan either way. So if they win or lose, it doesn't matter to me. Uh, please tune into this. Uh, uh, stay tuned to my website, the Bengal Mania website, um, because it will get better. It's not a whole lot on there right now. Uh, please go check it out. Uh, we'll have all the seasons on there with all the games that's been played. We'll have a news page that's going to be coming up to get, keep you up to date on the Bengals news um, and all that good stuff. So, and uh, of course, we'll hopefully we'll have a roster sheet up there with the current players and past players of the Cincinnati Bengals, good or bad. And hopefully, the same thing with the cheerleaders because I like to for you all of them to be able to get your history of the Cincinnati Bengals right here on one website. Because I'm telling you, I go searching for Bengals history and stuff, and it's hard to find all the information on one website and I'm hoping with this Bengal mania uh, that I will be able to bring this to you any type of news any type of news or uh, history that you want to know about I'm hoping I can have it right here on this site hopefully this show will take off and hopefully I'll get to go to Cincinnati maybe next season and uh, meet the cheerleaders and interview some of them right here on the show and meet some of the players and check out some of the games live with me living right here on the outside of winston Sale, north carolina actually i live in hamptonville north carolina at this one time which is i don't know about 15 minutes from winston salem about two and a half hours from charlotte north carolina the carolina panthers area and like i said i like the panthers and um they've been second favorite team but i've always been a Bengals fan since the 80s and i'm going to you know since boomer sison days and i'm going to stay the Bengals fan until i die but anyway I've got some Bengal merchandise coming, Bengal hat, Bengal t-shirts and jerseys and stuff. I can't wait to get them. Uh, and hopefully I can decorate this, you know, the studio. I'm still working on it. So as you can see, I've probably got this little draft thing around me, kind of making it look kind of cool. only thing you see is my little bitty head, or big head. But anyway, uh, I'll be working on the set now, so once we get the set built, uh, we'll be sitting on it. But hopefully, uh, maybe by telephone or by email or by uh, webcam or something, we'll sit down with one of the Bengals cheerleaders or players and talk to them or the coach or the owner or whatever. Um, I'm looking forward to this right here, and I'm wanting it to take off and be as big as possible can. But the only way that can be done is by you sitting down and watching the shows with us and commenting, hit the like button, and tell your friends about it and share this video with everybody. Uh, but, uh, like I said, I need to wind this down. It's already over 13 minutes long. Getting ready to be 14 minutes long. Whew, man, we'll try to keep the show down to 10 minutes, but, woo, it's hard to do. But, uh, like I said, thank you for tuning in. And here is our Bengals Chillier of the Week and all the information I told you about her. Until next week, see ya.